Come in. They welcome you in. Come in. Come into the church. They give you hugs. Come on. I have it all ready and set up for you. We have all everything is ready for you. We have a nice picture of Jesus right here for you. Uh, we have all the seating nice down for you. Everything is pretty. We spent thousands of dollars uh, making up this this building. And uh, so you can be comfortable in the winter, so you can be comfortable in the summer. And the pastor, don't worry, don't worry, the pastor is not going to preach on sin. I'm going to have these pastors in America, I have told them not to preach on sin and repentance because many people get offended with that. And what I'm trying to do is bring people to hell with me. Yes, that's what I have accomplished in America. I have created delusion, a strong delusion. So that's when we have abortion, same-sex marriage, thanks to the lukewarm pastors in America. I have created an army of lukewarm pastors in America. <laughs> Pastor, what must I do to be saved? Oh, you can continue to sin and be saved because don't you know that Jesus Christ loves everyone? Everyone. So I just say a prayer? Yeah, just do the sinner prayers. See, I have created that situation where you just say one, two, three, I'm not a sinner, I'm a sinner's prayer, and you are your way to hell. You can do it to hell. You can continue smoking and drinking and being in, in, in fornication, and you don't have to worry. That's not true. I have accomplished my goal. I have accomplished my goal. People bring sinners into the church. They infiltrate the church. The pastor is more worried about his salary and how much money he needs to make, how many wrong numbers they run. That's what I have accomplished. That's what the Bible says. I have accomplished what the Bible says. See, the devil has accomplished what the Bible says. In the later days, many shall give room to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what I have done. That's what we have all the sin going on in America. Because the pastors are lukewarm. They're dumb dogs. They're on board. Another question from other side. Pastor, will you marry us? We're boyfriend and girlfriend. We live in the same house. So we... we... Oh, you already have sex because you have to know each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. If you we boyfriend... love each other. Yeah, you love each other. Love is love. Don't you know that? Love is love. Love is love. You have to remember too, God hated the sin, but he loved the sinner. You have to remember that too. So I have created all these wonderful lies. We want to get baptized. Before yes, get no problem. We'll do everything no for you. We can probably even warm up the water. You can continue to sin and we baptize you. No as long as you continue bringing your tithes and offerings to this house so I can continue buying myself nice suits and driving nice cars. Don't worry. Oh, are you, you worry about my second wife? Don't worry about that. It's okay to remarriage. It's okay to, to, to put away you put away your wife and get another younger model. It's okay, don't worry about it. Don't you know that Abraham had two wives? <laughs> Any more questions from over there? Why the church is like that? It's because Satan is preaching from these pulpits in America. It is devils. Devils who are teaching from the pulpits of America, and you guys have allowed that because you don't read the Bible anymore. You are too busy with these devices and the Bible. You don't read it, but these devices, you even have two and three devices scrolling all the time Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. This is your God right here, your little gods. So I'm going to conclude with this. If you ask yourself, what must I do to go to hell? You just continue living your way. You do it your way, like Frank Sinatra says. I did it my way. If you continue doing it your way, I'll see you down there. Where it's very hot, where you'll be begging for a drop of water. Where you'll be trying to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but it will be too late. Too late. Now we're going to hear from a pastor that knows the truth and preaches the truth. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the problem we have in America today. 
The churches in America have let the devil preach from his pulpits. They're celebrating everything. Pastor Appreciation Day, you'll see it very soon, the Easter Bunny in churches. Pastors are going to be hiding eggs for the little kids to go out and play. But that's the devil. Bible says that the Satan transformed himself into an angel of light. The devil has been lying for years and years and years to the churches in America to tell you that it's okay to live in sin. Oh, we're all sinners. We're all sinners. Don't you know that we're all sinners? That we sin every day? No. Bible says Jesus Christ told the women. He said, women, go and sin no more. He that sinner is of the devil. You continue living in sin. Your father is the devil. Your father is the devil. You don't hear pastors across the pulpit preaching on sin and repentance against fornication, against homosexuality. You don't hear any of that. Just watch the churches. What are they getting ready to do that right now? They're getting ready to, to clean the church really good, the parking lot, because they expecting a big crowd on Easter. During Easter, that's when they get new customers. Everybody goes to church on Easter in America. <coughs> you never see them again. Some of them they come back because they hear they hear a feel a feel good message preached from the pulpit. They got hugged at the front door. Hmm? They give kindness to the kids. They have a nice uh, Sunday school for the little kids. Yeah. But really, you gotta seek the Lord. Today, when He can be found, tomorrow might be too late, my friend. Mm -hmm. Forget the the, the the lies of the devil. That you can be a sinner and live, live your way and still go to heaven. That's not what the Bible says. And if that's the case, why did they put Jesus on the cross? Because the Bible says by his stripes we are healed. With his blood, our, our sins can be forgiven. He cleans our sins with his blood. And you don't want his blood. You want the fire from the pits of hell. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're going. Mm -hmm. Continue living in sin. The Bible is clear. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Holiness, sanctification, stay away from sin. That's what leads you straight to heaven. So live that way. Live in a way that pleases the Lord. Without faith, no man, shall, no, no man can please the Lord. That is my advice for you out there. Stop listening to the doctrines of devil. Get a King James Bible. Get out of these churches where they have Jesus Christ portrayed as a hippie. Christmas trees, idolatry. Crosses everywhere, witchcraft. Huh? Repent and believe the gospel. All these things out of the devil. The devil has infiltrated the churches. The devil has has brought his, his minions and his demons, his demons inside churches. There's witchcraft in some churches. Pushing people back, blowing at them. Little handkerchiefs. Their names on the back hmm? of the pews. People pay to put their names on the back of the pews. Um, people pay to put their names on the parking lot because they give it money. They part from me. Oh, Lord, Lord, did we put our names in? We buy the church's chairs. Then we fix up the parking lot of the church. They part from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Never knew you. God doesn't need a chair. God doesn't need a parking lot over there. God needs your repentance. God needs your obedience. God needs that you preach his gospel. That you go out there and save another soul from the pits of hell. I was just remembered today. When I was part of the AA groups. The 12 step progress. We will spend hours. We will spend time. We will spend money. Just to go get one drone. Out of the, uh, under the bridge. You don't see the church doing that these days. You don't see churches and Christians. Go look at Kensington, Philadelphia. Kensington. Kensington. Huh? But you don't see Christians out there saving souls. But you're going to see them on Easter Sunday after eggs. The Lord called you to pick up eggs or the Lord called you to preach the gospel. Huh? Repent and believe the gospel. 